All right, guys, welcome back. It's in the name. We're going to get League of Legends up and running on your Steam Deck. Now, the first thing you want to do is go into the Discover Store and download an app called Bottles. Um, and this is the primary way of running League of Legends going forward. Lutris is still an option, but... Um, it doesn't work as well as it could and this seems to be a little bit more stable This is thanks to one of our commenters talking about them using bottles and so I looked into it and I'm like actually this is pretty cool um, And I'll try to do more videos going forward as you can see I've already tried it to make sure it worked and we're just going to make a new one um, And first thing you need to do is go into the preferences and runners and you need to go to Lutris and you need to download the GE LOL one the Lutris GEL. There's two there. I went for the eight 0.7.1 um, I don't know what the P812 is so you could try that one out but I'm not a hundred percent but I know the 871 works so you could just go off that one or get the latest one if you feel like that's the right option so that's the first thing you need to do is download that runner and then from there you can create a new gaming bottle um, and you can call this whatever you like I just call it league um, but Really, you can name it anything you like. I have got a few problems with bottles and the fact that you should be able to add the program directly to Steam, but I've had no luck getting it to work. So at the moment, we're just adding bottles in its entirety to Steam, which is not ideal because you've got to keep changing controls if you, say, use more games through bottles. But um, that's a problem for another day. Let's just play League of Legends, shall we? Um, so once you've done that, we created our league um, bottle and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to settings here and you're going to change the runner to the Lutris one that we downloaded earlier. That's the big one. If you don't download that, it's not going to work. Uh, and then I scroll straight past where I need to go, but you want to turn on the feral game mode and then I go further down, but the other option I needed was just above it, which is you change the sync setting to, um, you'll see it just up here. Um, the synchronization from e-sync to f-sync, um, I don't know, I saw that as a someone else using that setting, so and it works, so let's just keep doing that. Once we've done that, we can close out of bottles, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to go and download your copy of League of Legends. Now make sure you're in the right region, and you download because it's region dependent, so make sure you get the one that's right for you. I'm in Oceanic, so I need to download the Oceanic um, installer. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to re-download it here, but that's what you need to do. And once you've done that, you can then go back into Bottles, once it loads up here, and you'll be able to continue on our journey of playing League. Thanks guys for jumping in, I really appreciate it. Uh, so what you want to do is you're going to go run executable, you're going to go to your downloads folder, and there you're going to find the Oceanic installer. All right, so you're going to go run this executable. And this is going to begin the process. It's that easy, to be honest. It's pretty straightforward. I do have an issue further on um, where it didn't happen in my test run. So it was quite good I have it here just in case you also run into this little um, discrepancy. But if you don't, even better. This is just going to go through its motions of installing. Um, there's nothing really interesting here to write about, but I'm going to keep it all here just so you guys can see what's happening and that it is actually working, but you can see here it kind of goes blank for a while, but it will pop back up as you can see here. And then we just sign in as usual. Um, I put in my username, but then I just skip forward once I put my password in and then we let it finish installing. Um, I just do it from here because we're going to go back into, um, Steam OS in a moment, but it's we're already here, so we might as well let it do its full download. And yeah, so once again, I thank you guys for watching. Sorry this has taken so long to come out. I've just had a hell of a time in my life at the moment. So we're getting back to some normality, and hopefully you'll see more videos. I got a verification email. Um, you'll probably get this too. It's not a big deal. I just typed it in, and we crack on. It doesn't really seem to affect anything in any way. I thought I'd leave this in here. Just so you guys know, know that this is a thing. Um, I must be like looking at my email. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you've, yeah, thanks again. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to do some more MMO stuff coming up. Um, yeah, this is all going, this went quite well actually. This is surprisingly easy. Um, I mean, Lutris was even easier, but this 
that just, well, Lutris is all the way. See how I had that little bit of a glitch there? But it is working. It only happens on this initial load, and after that, when you're loading it up through Steam game mode or through bottles, that shouldn't do that anymore. Um, and you'll see here it logs in just perfectly, smoothingly fine. Yeah, it's loading up just right. Absolutely fantastic. Now, this is the part that... Um, after I show you this, see, just to show you that it's downloading the rest of its installs, um, is it normally in bottles, it would change that executional shortcut to client, um, client, uh, league client, and you could just click on that to run your game. But unfortunately for me, something went wrong and it didn't work. So I ended up having to add a shortcut. So I'm just showing you how to add a shortcut to bottles if it doesn't auto add one. See how I've got league client there? I'd already done that myself because it hadn't worked so I thought well I might as well add this into the video just in case you also that that file doesn't show up so what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to copy the um file line you basically you want to copy the where that file is because otherwise it's really hard to make a, a shortcut so you can then you can just post as I say if you're on home you can paste it and it'll take you right there and then that gives you the option to then add that um, executable to bottles and it's just the lead client one now norm, like I say bottles should auto add that but for me it didn't so I just did it manually to show you guys how to add one if it doesn't work and then once you've done that you want to make sure bottles is added to your steam library I'm just going in here to make sure that it's actually in my steam library as you can see bottles has been added to my steam library you don't need to do anything with this like you don't need to run um, uh, Proton or anything So then you just load back into Steam Load up bottles If you're not sure where that is It'll be in your non-Steam games I already had it in my row Because I've been using it um, And this will start loading up And you'll see your league file there um, And then I just My controller settings If you want them Is King Salami's League of Legends layout You really want to use this um, And I can There is a previous video in my playlist That shows you how to use that controller setup um, I can always link that in the description below if you guys are interested in that. Then you just click run and it will load up. It's as simple as that. It really is. Um, and of course, if when League or Riot do updates to League, no doubt this will break again and we'll have another issue. But for now, we are back in the running and able to play League of Legends on our Steam Deck. It takes a little bit to load in, but it's not like disastrous by any stretch of the imagination. And um, it's perfect. And because I'm recording off the Steam Deck, I'm probably slowing things down a wee bit. But it's worth it for easy access for you guys to see what I'm doing. Uh, rather than seeing my fat sausage hands, the only thing you need to make sure you change is this setting. You have to put on always for client um, to close the client during game because what happens is it will flick you back to this screen here in the game running in the background, but SteamOS can't see there's a separate um, program open, so you can't get back to your main game screen, so you need to make sure you close the client when you, pl you play, otherwise you'll end up where you can't actually get back to the game you're playing and then that's not a good time for anybody so always change that to act, always set that setting to always to close the lead client when you're playing a game uh, and then you shouldn't have that issue and you see it's just loading up here and you'll see some pretty good frames now uh, you'll probably get more frames but because I'm using the recorder on the deck itself I'm using a few processes to make the recording um, but you see here, we're sitting quite high, over in 180, 190, you know, it's sitting quite high here. So once you get into stuck in team fights, I'm sure that will drop down dramatically as we're only in um, the training ground here. But you get the idea, it's working pretty well um, and you should be up and running and playing league in a matter of, I'd say, half an hour if, if you don't have any issues. Hopefully no one has any issues and I've made this reasonably clear. Um, I'm trying to get better at this, so I really appreciate your comments, your likes and your support. Um, and 
it's been a hell of a ride. So once again, guys, I thank you so much for this. And in the future, look forward to some Taurus land, some Dune um, MMO stuff. I'm going to focus mostly on Steam Deck with MMOs and multiplayer stuff. Um, single player doesn't really need a lot of coverage, I feel, on Steam Deck that gets a lot already. I don't know. What do you guys actually want to see? Like, is there any kind of games you want? me to look into there is an mmo that i really want to do i've had running on my steam deck um but i've got to get it it's been a bit of a process i need a bigger hard drive for my steam deck basically i'm struggling with my 250 gig drive um it's way too small if i ever told anyone to buy steam deck i'd be like get the 512 or just buy a 64 and buy a bigger um mv drive at the start because 256 it sounds great on paper for me i thought ah, oh, you know it's plenty but when you're making content like this it just doesn't seem to work so well once again guys thanks for watching like subscribe if you found this useful and have a great day catch you in the next one boys